Good Sunday morning to you YouTubers and connectors and connectettes that I tricked into coming over here. Uh, I want to tell you, I'm going to give you a review of my slow cooker dish from yesterday and I got a slow cooker dish today. It was a surprise that I was even able to do it in a slow cooker. But I'm going to give you the review first of the slow cooker picadillo with black beans. It was okay. wasn't bad, but it wasn't everything I hoped and dreamt it would be. Um, I, I feel like it was really just kind of a, a, a lightly sweetened chili in the end. And uh, the picadillo, it had the, um, had the ground beef in it, and it had a ton of spices in it. And I left one thing out, and that was green olives. And when I posted it, people were like, Hey, you shouldn't have left the green olives out. That's where all the flavor comes from. I didn't know. I'm not a big fan of green olives, so I left them out. Come to find out, that was <laughs> like a big ingredient. So I apologize. Maybe it's worth another shot. I don't know. But uh, I don't usually quit on things real easy. But I'm one, I may be one and done on that Picadillo. It, once again, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't, it wasn't sassy. And you know how I love some sass. Now, the other thing I got, this is what I did this morning. What's in the case? Ooh, well, the condensation is formed on it. I, I put it in there too hot. But this right here is a slow cooker blueberry coffee cake. We've already gotten into it, as you can see. This thing, when it was in its full circumference, was 19 points. So cut into eight pieces, winds up being about two and a half points a piece. Now, if you look on the recipe section of the Weight Watcher app, it tells you to use sugar. I replaced that with stevia. So that was, that right there was, uh, First of all, it was pretty good. Look at that blueberry bonanza that I packed in there. It had um, flour and it had uh, Greek yogurt. Oh, I got blueberry on my finger. Um, let's see, a little bit of salt, some baking soda, baking powder. Like I said, I put the stevie in instead of sugar. Uh, there's an egg in there. There's some vanilla extract in there. I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Oh, um, what's the oil? canola oil? So then all that stuff gets mixed together. You do the dry stuff off to one side, the the wet stuff off to the other, and then you eventually combine them. And you put them into a souffle dish, and then that goes into a slow cooker that's got two cups of water in it. You put this foil around the souffle dish and uh, put it in the uh, put it in the water, and it. I did this on high. For, it called for three, three to four hours. I cut the difference, three and a half. Turned out good. Um, oh, and there was a dusting of powdered sugar on the top. So I guess 21 points is what this whole thing was. But um, the, the, the powdered sugar is dissolved or something. It's soaked into the, to the, uh, the glistening goodness of the blueberry cream, coffee cream cake. It's really good. So I had one piece of it. My wife had a piece. Um, I counted it as two points for myself. So, slow cooker dessert turned out pretty well. Pretty happy about that. So, uh, I'm done trying new stuff for the weekend. I've gone the slow cooker. Uh, nutso, we're done. So, thank you for tuning in. If I get something, get another hair in my bonnet, or no, it's a bee in my bonnet, a hair in my, anyways. If I get if I get crazy again, I'll let you know. But I think I'm done with the cooking for the weekend. So you people have a blasty blast. I'll catch you on a flip flop, pippity poppity, hip hoppity, and uh, stay sassy.